Hello and welcome back. So in the last episode we created this um, basic wooden diffuse and normal material. In this episode we're going to add some transparency to a new material. So I'm going to right click and create a material. I'll call it transparent. I'm going to right click and create a shader of type amplify surface. I'm going to name it transparent. Transparent. Whoops. Double click on that to open it here. Evan daily slash transparent. And I'm going to put that on my material. Oh, and it's not showing up because I have to compile. All right, and drop that on the model. So right now it's just a basic black. And uh, I want this essentially to pick up the color of the pixels behind the material. So for that, I could just right click and add a screen color uh, node, connect that to the albedo, and compile. And this is sort of working. It's grabbing the screen color behind on the floor, and if I pull back, it should see the wall eventually. Um, but up close, it's not doing what we want. So to fix that, I'm going to click on the material, open up the Blend Mode tab, and change Render Queue from Geometry to Transparent, and Apply. And now, it's, now it sees the wall and the floor. And uh, I think I will actually connect this to the... No, never mind. Undo that. Alright, so I have the pixels behind being picked up. But it looks kind of fake. There should be some noise on this surface. And we could use a normal map, but I think I also want to affect the diffuse with some noise. So for that, I'm going to right click and add a texture sample. And I can also just hit T and left click. Now I'm going to add a brushed metal and connect that here. And now that's actually not doing anything. And that's because it hasn't been applied to the actual material itself. If I click on the material, you can see, uh, even if I compile this, there's no texture here. So I can, I could just drop the texture on that. The easier way is to make sure that I'm, I, I want to modify the shader and the material at the same time. Right now, I'm only modifying the shader. There's no material selected. So just double click the material. Now they're both selected. And any changes that I make apply to both. So I'm going to find brush, brushed metal normal again and compile and uh, it's actually just showing white because um, we like this is modifying the UVs and so we need to actually find the UV coordinate and then add this noise to it so for that I need a screen position node apply that here and once I do that um, it should go back to just the straight transparent. But I, I need these to work together, so I'm going to create an add node. And apply. And now you can see we have a really noisy surface. And I think this is actually too noisy for my preference. So I'm going to right click and create a multiply. Connect these and apply. And now all we're seeing is the screen position with grab screen because the texture is actually being multiplied by zero. And why don't we try multiplying it by 0.5? So for that, I'm going to add a float node, connect it here, and give it a value of 0.5. Compile. And now you can see that there's just a little bit of noise. I can set it to zero compile and now there's no noise well I could set it to something like 50 and now there should be a crazy amount um, so if I click on the material now there's no um, exposed property for this float if I want to expose that I can just click on the node and instead of the type as constant I can set that to property I'll call this uh, distortion and compile. And now you can see we can simply play with this distortion value. And we probably want it somewhere between 0 and 1. 
And so I'm actually going to click on it again and set my min to 0 and my max to 1. Compile. And now we have this shader which lets us um, tweak those values. That looks pretty good. Um, so I think I'm going to cut this video off here. In the next video, we'll pick up with some more complicated effects. So I'll see you next time.